Hey guys, it's Amy here from Amy's Art Alchemy. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another sneak peek to share with you all for our June ATC swap with the International A3 ATC Swap Group. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad that you stopped by. I host an international artist trading card swap group over on my Instagram. It's called the A3 ATC Swap Group. And currently we have just under 600 artists from all over the world taking part in our ATC Swap Group. And I do have a few more spots available. If you are interested in looking to get more information about our group, all you need to do is head on over to my Instagram, send me a private message, letting me know what country you're from, and I can give you all the details. So I will put my Instagram link in the description box below if you would like to get more information. Um, also, I will link in the description box a introduction to our group video that lets you hear some feedback from some of the other artists in our group. It's an amazing group to be a part of. We are continuing to grow daily. Our swap takes place every other month um, on the 15th. It is such a fun, welcoming community to be a part of. So much inspiration, and I love sharing sneak peek videos. So that's what this video is about. If you are new to my channel, I like to share sneak peeks of all the ATCs before I do the swap each time. I also like to create artist spotlight videos, share tips, tricks, tutorials, and all kinds of art-related videos. If you are looking to gather tons of inspiration, I would love to have you subscribe. So I am going to go ahead and get started. We are on sneak peek video part 17. And believe it or not, I still have a couple more parts left to share with you all. Um, so I hope that you are continuing to enjoy these videos just as much as I am spotlighting each of the artists. So this first set of cards comes from France. These come from Kathy. She is an artist out of France and you can find her on Instagram at KTI underscore zero underscore zero underscore. Um, she is an amazing artist and such a dear, dear friend. And Kathy, I am very curious to know which company makes this stamp. I love this stamp. Um, actually, it has inspired me to draw a big painting of it, but I still would like this stamp um, just to be able to use for art projects. But I am really interested in incorporating your ATC into making a bigger canvas for my studio or maybe for a journal. Um, so much inspiration from this. These are absolutely beautiful. I love the way that you colored it in. Um, it looks like, I can't tell if it's got some embossing on it or if that is just a really pretty glittery paint, but it is just absolutely gorgeous. I love the glitter effects that you added on there. There's some around the uh, the frame as well as on the detail of the flowers. So these are just so gorgeous. I love how you put artist on there. Um, I also love the little lime green pen. It really gives a nice accent to the leaves. These are just absolutely beautiful, my friend. So all of hers um, are exactly the same. That's why I'm just holding up one. I love the style of this. These are beautiful. Um, as I said, I would love to know who makes this stamp because I definitely need to add it to my collection. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and I also wanted to show you all um, what Kathy sent me. She made me this beautiful little Frida pouch. Um, I love it. This fabric is gorgeous. Of course, I love the turquoise and pink. It is so pretty. And then she sent me these goodies inside. So she made an extra ATC for me. Uh, so thank you so much. And I say this every sneak peek video, but I say it every time just because we have new artists joining our group daily. And we also have so many people watching these sneak peek videos that aren't in our group. So I like to explain it is a five for five ATC swap. However, so many artists like Kathy are just so very sweet and like to create an extra one for me to keep. Uh, so don't be confused when you sign on. It is a five for five swap. And I never expect anything extra, but when somebody takes the time to make an extra one for me um, or send me a nice little surprise or even a note, I am definitely going to show it um, just to show my thanks and appreciation. I love it so very much. Um, these are absolutely beautiful. Um, she also made me this really, really pretty Frida one, which I'm curious um, 
if this is a same stamp, stamp company that you got it from. I do not have this Frida stamp. Um, and actually, Kathy and I are doing a Frida exchange, um, happy mail exchange. Uh, so I am um, gathering up all my Frida inspiration stuff and getting ready to send to her. But I am curious to know where you got this stamp from. It is beautiful. Or you may have even drawn it. She, yeah, she may have actually even drawn this. This may not even be a stamp. So you're going to have to let me know, um, Kathy, in the description box below because these are just beautiful. Both of these are absolutely gorgeous. I love the way that you colored her in. I love the background. Um, it almost looks like this one. You can tell a little bit more. Uh, it almost looks like it has some uh, distress oxides or something in the background. These are just absolutely beautiful. Again, these are from Kathy from France at KTI underscore zero underscore zero. Um, and she also sent me these, these goodies. She wrote me a sweet little note. And thank you so much, my friend. I cherish your notes. I cherish our friendship so much. Um, I, I truly, truly do. These are just so beautiful. Look at these little journaling cards. Um, I can make them as um, little tuck spots. I can turn them into pockets. These are so pretty. You know how much I love my flowers. Uh, so thank you so very much, my friend, for this nice surprise. That is Kathy at KTI underscore zero underscore zero. And she is an amazing artist and friend from France. So you guys definitely go check her out. Make sure that slides back in there so I don't get it mixed up with the ones that she made uh, to swap. And this next set of cards it comes from California. These come from uh, Maria Cruz. And you can find her on Instagram at collage.freshman. Uh, she is an artist out of California. It's so funny. I think I shared this before. When she first joined the group, I kept wanting to say college freshman, uh, but it's clearly collage. <laughs> just having the word freshman, I just, I kept wanting to say college. It was kind of, it was kind of comical at the time. <laughs> but uh, Maria Cruz at collage.freshman. She is an artist out of California. Thank you so much for including our hashtag on the back is there as well, my friend. These are beautiful. I love the blues, um, the blues and greens in these. So um, I'm not really sure what that is, if that is a location or if that means something. I probably should have looked it up before I started the sneak peek video, but uh, it's beautiful. I love the postage stamp. Um, I love all the different papers that she used to collage. We've got a really pretty waterfall some script paper, some scrapbook paper. Um, it looks like some images from a magazine. We've got a map on there, the postage stamp. Uh, so each one kind of has the same type papers, really pretty blues and uh, the different cityscapes that she used on there, definitely travel theme. Um, so I'm assuming that that has to do something with travel. So I love how it's got the map. We've got an airplane. Um, I love how she actually even tore this postage stamp and put the plane in between. So I love how you did that. These are so very pretty. Um, all the different illustrations on there, the, the postage stamps, the maps, very pretty ATC. So these are, makes me want to travel. These come from Marie Cruz at Collage dot freshman an artist out of california and this next set of cards comes from ohio these come from ganelle rainey uh, she is an artist out of ohio and you can find her on instagram at um actually she does not have her instagram name on the back of here she does have it in her email um it's actually just rain studio so not rain studio quilt so i'm going to try to remember to uh, put that on the back of here before I do the swap. Uh, you guys, please make sure you remember to also include your location. So where you are from, we have 37 different countries and 43 of the 50 U.S. states. So please always try to remember to include your, um, actually, now that I'm saying this, I forgot. She does have it on there. I noticed that. I'm sorry, my friend. Uh, she included a business card. I knew that. I knew that as soon as I picked it up because I remember seeing this on there. So 
all of her information is on there. She's got her IG name, Rain Studio. She is from Ohio. You did an amazing job, my friend. I just completely forgot that you also had your, your business card on there, which I think it is great to have. She is a fiber and mixed media artist, um, and she has her email too. So if you guys receive one from Danelle, just make sure that you um, look under the business card because she does have her info there, and I apologize, my friend. Um, also, when you guys receive your ATCs in the mail, please, um, if you wouldn't mind taking a small minute of your time to post the ATCs that you receive, you don't have to do it right away. I know life is crazy busy, but if you wouldn't mind taking a picture of the ATCs you receive and then tag the artist that created them. That way, everybody can know where all their art has traveled from. Also, I would like to suggest a, a really cool idea to print off two different maps uh, just from the internet. And one of those maps can be where you fill in all of the places that your art has traveled to. And then another one can be all the places that you received art from. So it is a really cool visual. Our group is growing daily. Um, I am going to cap it off at 600 artists. So as soon as we reach that, but we have artists from all over the world and I strive really hard to make sure that you never receive from the same artist twice. So you are sure to receive a variety in this group. Um, so many different styles that I would appreciate if you guys wouldn't mind taking a split second just to post a picture of the ATCs and then tag the artist. Um, make sure you put the at symbol before you put their Instagram name. Otherwise, it does not tag them. If you are confused or with one of them is missing a name on the back or you can't read it, just shoot me a message, put me in the tag, and then I can help you out with that. Um, it's just a nice way to see where all your art has traveled. Um, just like whenever you get your ATC, seeing all the locations, it's fun just seeing all the places that they traveled. So these are from Ganelle Rainey at Rain Studio. Her info and everything is on the back. Sorry about that again, my friend. These are so bright and beautiful. I love the color palettes that she chose on these. The magentas with this neon pink and neon orange is gorgeous. Um, we have the word art uh, back here. I love the way that she did this little uh, dimensional square over it. It looks really pretty. She also cut out some botanicals, really pretty uh, patterns. It looks like she had maybe some jelly prints in the background of these. Uh, this one says, creativity takes courage, do your best. Really pretty floral die cuts. Uh, this one says, do what you love, never give up. So this one is a different color palette, but still so bright. We've got some greens again with the neon orange and yellow. It's so pretty. We've got some book text peeking through. Uh, be amazed and see possibility everywhere. So I just love this color and this color together. These are so very pretty. It also looks like she has um, possibly some napkin collaged on there. So you'll have to let me know, Ganel, um, where the brand of this neon paint. And then I'm curious, actually, I'm pretty positive that is napkin now that I, I can tell the little fibers in there. So I love the way that she did these. Thank you so much for making it an extra one for me, friend. These are absolutely beautiful. Very, very pretty. Ganel Rainey at Rain Studio. Um, from Ohio. This next set of cards comes from Kentucky. I love this summer vibe theme. Uh, these come from Amanda Frejo Tobin, um, and you can find her on Instagram, which I love the little Instagram label, um, or mark, stamp, whatever. <laughs> uh, you can find her on Instagram at AFT Designs. It stands for Amanda Frejo Tobin. Uh, she is an artist out of Kentucky. I love the way that you did this. Thank you so much for including the hashtag. These are super cute on the back as well. So I love the way that you did that. Um, I love the summer vibe on these. So make a lemonade. We've got some really pretty different yellows. Uh, she has the word make lemonade. Um, it looks like it is stamped on there. I love how she's got some, uh, looks like this is that Tim Holtz collage paper. She's got some book text, some scrapbook paper with different stamps on there. This one says make lemonade. Um, it's got the same type elements. We've got some 
uh, texture paste or gesso through a stencil, some dictionary papers. I love the little lemonade die cut. So each one um, kind of, it all kind of goes together. So these have the pictures. These say make lemonade with the little um, glass with the lemon slice on there. These two have the cute little lemons. Like I love this. I don't know if it is in other states or if it is just in my area in Texas. It may not even be all over Texas, but there is actually like a national lemonade day. Like it's crazy. Like I miss the days where you could go out and put a lemonade stand anytime, which is great. You can still do that, but there's actually a day um, that's designated to all the lemonade stands. I don't really know much about it, but you can't go to, it can't go anywhere without seeing the lemonade stand. So it's hard to, um, I feel like it's harder on those days because you want to help all the little kids out and shop from all the little lemonade stands, but that's like impossible to do. I mean, that's a ton of lemonade, but um, I do think it's awesome that they have that day. And it's, I think it's supposed to help teach the kids. Like it, it has something to do like, um, I'm not really sure, but it's, uh, it's like a legit thing. Like it's National Lemonade Day or something. I don't know. I shouldn't say national because it may just be our, um, around where we lived. But anyway, Lemonade definitely makes me think of summer and definitely reminds me of all the little lemonade stands I had growing up. Uh, my kids had one as well uh, over at my mom's um, uh, several years ago. We live out in the country, so it's a little harder to do out here. We have had one out here, but I just love the 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 memories of the little home-built lemonade stand. So super cute. Amanda Frejo Tobin from AFT Designs from Kentucky. So thank you for those wonderful memories that it brought back. I just, I love that. And the beautiful art. This next set of cards comes from Illinois. These come from Joanna Tinney and you can find her at paper.alice. Uh, she is an artist out of Illinois. She's got all of her information on there. And these are called Tiny Dancer. Uh, let me turn them all the right way. So these are called Tiny Dancer and they are so cute. It's got these really little adorable um, little ballerinas on there. Um, I love the color of these. They're, they're so girly and obviously I have three boys. So I just, um, I Google over all these cute little girl things, which I wouldn't trade my boys for the world. Um, but it's just so adorable. So we've got the doilies, um, painted doilies. This one's blue, pink, purple. Um, we've got butterflies. She's dancing with her little ballerina shoes. Really pretty washi tape and stickers. Um, this one, this one has her putting on her little um, socks or I don't really know what they're called. And see, I have boys. Um, these are the shoes. So I'm not really sure. They're like, I don't know something for dancers. <laughs> Little joggers, leg warmers, I guess. I guess they're like leg warmers that goes before they put their shoes on. Now I'm sounding silly, but anyway, uh, I love the butterfly that you added on there. Um, I love the background of these. They definitely have like a little shimmer to them, which is so pretty. Uh, remember to sparkle and then you can, you can actually see um, the sparkle in the paint, the really pretty shimmer. So these little girl illustrations are just so cute. These are called Tiny Dancer. So I love them. These are adorable. And these are from Joanna um, at Paper.Alice. She's an artist out of Illinois. This next set of cards comes from North Carolina. These come from Kilm. And you can find Kilm on Instagram at JetJug2004. Uh, she is an artist out of North Carolina, and you can see that she repurposed playing cards. So I think that is great to repurpose packaging playing cards. Um, I say this all the time, but most of the playing cards are traditional ATC size. I do ask for everybody to stick with the standard um, ATC size, two and a half inches by three and a half inches. Of course, you can do the decorative ages, but make sure they are uh, traditional ATC size, just like these. These are perfect, Kim. I'm just using it as an example. Uh, there are a few playing cards that are bigger or uh, quite a bit smaller. So make sure when you repurpose playing cards, which makes for a great substrate, um, make sure they are the ATC size. So Kilms are perfect. 
Um, a lot of times too, you can use the playing card not only as a substrate or as a base, um, but you can have the card peeking through. So try to find things that you can repurpose, uh, like we repurpose book pages, packaging, uh, cereal boxes. I love using cereal boxes. They make for a good, nice, solid substrate. So I love the way that you did this, Kim. Uh, Kim at Jet Jug 2004. Uh, vacation had to get away so I love this I I am super excited to be going out of town for an art retreat in Colorado um, I will be leaving very soon to do that and I am really excited about that um, it's not a family vacation although I told my family we could all go and they could go up to Denver while I'm at my workshop but uh, they thought I just needed the time to get away, or I shouldn't say they. My husband thought I needed the time to get away to myself, um, but I'm hoping that we can take a family vacation. I love this. I love the silhouette, um, the lady jumping. Like, these are so cute. So we've got just different um, different positions of her jumping. It says, vacation, had to get away. And I love the bright neon colors. I love the way that you uh, did the corners of these and made the shapes. I love how you outlined in red um, and the bright neon colors on the inside. So these are just super cute silhouettes. You know, there's always those pictures where people always try to jump at the same time. And it's so crazy to do, but um, I've tried that, like having my family jump at the same time. It's hard to catch that picture. Uh, but these are awesome. I love the different uh, the different silhouettes that she got in these. So these are from Kim Bird uh, at Jet Jug 2004, an artist out of North Carolina. This next set of cards comes from Colorado. Speaking of Colorado, uh, these come from Sarah Ogden. And I'm curious, Sarah, if you live anywhere close to Castle Rock, because I would love to visit you. Any of the artists, if any of the artists in our group from Colorado live close to Castle Rock, even if it's within like an hour drive, let me know. And um, in the evenings, I would love to meet up with you all. I just, as many artists in our group that I can meet, I would absolutely love to. So I'm going to be there. Um, I leave, I just forgot what days I leave. I leave June, um, yeah, I forgot. June 12th through the 14th. Yeah, June 12th through the 14th. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And then I will be back just in time to start our swapping process on June 15th. Of course, I have no idea what time these sneak peek videos are all going to get published to my YouTube as it takes so long. Uh, for all I know, these may be end up being published after I get back. It's always so slow to upload, but I love to be able to do these spotlight videos anyway. Um, and share all these sneak peeks. So Sarah Ogden, I got off on a little rant. Sorry, she's an artist out of Colorado. Colorado and you can find her on Instagram at DS underscore Ogden. And these are titled Hearts Open. And how gorgeous are these? The background of these, they are just so very pretty. I'm curious what you used. Um, it looks like maybe some Distress Oxide inks. I'm not sure, but I love the background of these. Um, I love the white frame around these, how you did the backing on them. Um, I love the way that she did the little rainbows. Like, how cute are these rainbows? So it's just different pattern papers um, with just different art marks, and then she stitched them on there with black ink. So I love your art every single time, Sarah, but I think these are definitely my favorite ones that you have sent in. I love this so much. I love the stitching, uh, the free motion stitching for the little rainbows. Um, I love the art marks. I love the, I'm assuming this is distress because um, I can see like the little um, circles and things that the oxide inks make. So I'm assuming that's what that is. If not, you did an amazing job achieving that look. The colors and the blending on these are just so, so beautiful. I love the little art marks that you did. Uh, we've got some pink and then the white and then this one has some of the little turquoise these are just absolutely beautiful i love the way that you um, did the rainbows on these so she just has different collage papers different jelly printed papers and then um did the free motion uh stitching in the rainbow shape i love that these are just absolutely beautiful. So Sarah Ogden from Colorado at DS underscore Ogden. 
This next set of cards comes from Switzerland. These come from Michelle Bischoff. And let's see, you can find her on Instagram at michelle.bischoff. And uh, Switzerland needs to be written on here. So uh, make sure you guys put your uh, country or your state if you're in the U.S. So I will go back and do that for you, Michelle. Not a problem. So Michelle Bischoff, um, she is an artist out of Switzerland. And I think she has this as a pre-made label. So it's probably um, why she forgot to put Switzerland on there. It's not a problem. I can, I will try to remember to make myself a note to do that. But you can find her at Michelle Bischoff. Um, all of her information is on there. These are so darn cute. I love the flower fairies. I just think they are adorable. Of course, I love flowers, so anything to do with flowers, I love. Um, but the little flower fairies are just absolutely adorable. I love the way that she collaged these. We've got the really pretty postage stamp on there. We've got some postmarks on there. Uh, this one, you can see some music note paper peeking behind there as well as dictionary paper. Uh, we've got the really pretty pansies uh, postage stamp on there, which goes so good together. Uh, she's got the word flower back there with the dictionary, so paper, so I love that. Uh, we also got some music note washi tape. Look at this one. I love this one too. She just um, collaged a whole bunch of the flower stamps on there and then put the little flower fairy on top. These are absolutely beautiful, Michelle. I love the way you did these. Um, I love the number. I love how you put summer. Um, I love the different papers that you chose. These just blend together. So beautiful. You did such a gorgeous job collaging these. This one also has some stitching, which I think anytime you add stitching makes anything better. So I love how you um, added just a little bit of stitch marks on top of the um, papers and washi tape. This one also, I believe, um, has a napkin uh, collaged on there. I may be wrong, but that feels kind of like a napkin. But these are just adorable. I need to um, I need to order some of these little flower fairies. I have some small ones. I need this size. These are so darn cute. I love the the little ruler on there. The papers are just beautiful, beautiful. So Michelle Bischoff uh, at Michelle Dot Bischoff. She is an artist out of Switzerland. This next set of cards comes from Massachusetts. Uh, these come from Anne Vanetta. Anne has been with our group since the very beginning. Um, I absolutely, I say it every time, I love her style. I love her collage style. Uh, she also puts together some amazing packages. You guys, please go check out her Etsy store. Um, these are just some of the things that she has sent me, and um, I definitely will be sending you back some more goodies. Uh, she always sends me some little goodies with it. So thank you so much, Anne. I never expect you to do that, and I truly am grateful for um, for your for your sharing, for your generosity, for your friendship. And then she had it together in this cute little calligraphy uh vellum envelope that she made and it says a little something for you so i save all these little things and um i truly do appreciate it my friend you guys go check her out ann m actually let me turn this over ann m vanetta she is an art artist out of massachusetts uh but go not only check her out on instagram go check out her etsy store she puts together some amazing packages uh, she was the first artist, actually, that I did a Happy Mail swap with um, before I started the ATC swap group. I had to, I had to, um, back, it was back when I was doing scheduled Happy Mail swaps, uh, planned Happy Mail swaps, I guess I should say. Um, now that I have the ATC swap group, I'm trying so hard just to catch up on sending out return Happy Mail. Uh, but she was the very first person that I did a swap with uh, long before I started the A3 ATC swap group. I said she just has some beautiful things her uh and, and she's an amazing mother too i love seeing the things that she does with with her daughter in the crafts and just passing along that that beauty and that talent so Anne m vanetta from massachusetts we've got the really pretty uh turquoise handmade paper it feels like handmade paper on top of this really pretty um muted color scrapbook paper i love the uh ticket die cut and then I love how she stamped on top of there. So they give such a pretty 
um, make such a beautiful ATC. I love how the butterfly goes past the postage stamps. Her layering in her collage work is just, it, it's amazing. Like I said, she just does such a beautiful job. Um, I know with her last set, everybody wanted, everybody wanted one of her ATCs. I'm telling you, I, um, she, she's so very talented, very, very sweet lady. And I'm so happy that she is in our group. Thank you so much, Anne, for these lovely goodies and for your gorgeous ATCs and, uh, just for being such a sweet friend this whole time. Um, she's, she's definitely been, uh, one of the longest friends that I have had through Instagram. So I do, um, truly value your friendship and love all your art and inspiration that you bring and share with everybody. It's Anne M. Vanetta from Massachusetts. This next set of cards comes from Canada. These are so very pretty. These come from Liz Berlinger. She is an artist out of Prince George, BC, Canada. Uh, she's got all of her information on the back. Liz Berlinger, um, yeah, at Liz Berlinger. So her name is that, but you can also find her. She put the at, so that is her Instagram name. Makes it easy. Um, these are so cute. I love the bright pink background. So all of these are pretty much the same. So I'm just going to hold up one. Um, we've got the really pretty uh, pink background. It has um, the texture on it. There's some glitter in, in her little sleeve. So these have like the little, uh, she made like gl black glitter polka dots on the, on the dress. So there's this really pretty lady stamp on there along with these really pretty floral stamps. Um, and then I love the way that she added uh, the white stamps through or through a stencil on there as well. So pretty, but I love the texture of this pink. I love the bits of red that you add in there as well. So really pretty. I love how you added the glitter. That was a nice little touch to her dress. It gave it some more dimension. Um, I love the white, how you did. Like I said, these are all pretty much the same. These ones she also added a little bit on the flowers. So these are from Liz Berlinger from Canada, and you can find her at Liz Berlinger. Beautiful ATCs, my friend. This next set of cards comes from Georgia. These come from uh, Angela Ruetta, and you can find her at Angela Art underscore Marietta. She's an artist out of Marietta, Georgia. She's got all of her information on the back. And look how cute these are. So this one, um, it is smaller than the others, but that's because this one was just one she made for me. So uh, these are the ones that will be swapped. So I don't want you guys to be confused whenever I was talking about size. This a cute little piece she made for me with just, um, uh, I, I love it. I love the ruler at the bottom, the turquoise. We've got the postage stamp. It says happy. It looks like this was maybe from... Uh, it looks like that, well, no, this is like scrapbook paper and then that is typed out. Um, I love this purple magenta foiling that she did on there. I love all the art marks on there. The really pretty butterfly. And then of course the note is my absolute favorite. You do not have to thank me, my friend. You truly do not. Uh, you have been such an incredible friend and I, I truly do appreciate it so much. So thank you so much for the piece of art. Um, I love all the art marks and thank you so much for the note. So that one is mine. And these are the same. Um, these are in uh, actual the ATCs. We've got really pretty. Look at all the art marks. I love all the pretty art marks and doodles that she did. So it looks like she started off with maybe a jelly prints and then she just went back and did some doodles, which are my favorite. Um, all the little X's and crosses and uh, hash marks and circles and dots. These are just so pretty. So we've got some yellow ruler, some turquoise ruler. I love the neon pink and the neon orange. I love the bits of foil that you added. We've got gold. We've got that really pretty uh, fuchsia color. I don't know what color I called it earlier, but it's more of like a fuchsia color. Um, postage stamps, so pretty. I love the little butterflies. This one has like a little dimension to it. Uh, kindness. I feel grateful. Look at the neon pink. The postage stamps. These are just beautiful. So this one says, I feel grateful. Kindness. Love it. Paint it. I love this so much. 
Uh, this one says joy and inspiration. And these definitely inspire me to get out and just, just play and just um, make my art marks. And these are just absolutely beautiful. And then the one she made me says happy. So thank you so much, my friend. These are from Angela Ruetta at Angela Art underscore Marietta. She is an artist out of Georgia. This next set of cards comes from Washington. These come from Shannon, and you can find Shannon on Instagram at swerves13, so that's S-W-E-R-V-E-S 13. She's an artist out of Spokane Valley, Washington. She's got all of her information on the back. Thank you as well for including our hashtag. I love the pattern papers that you chose on the back. So she decorated up the back as well. So that is super cute the way she did that. And you guys check out how adorable these are. I, I'm not gonna lie, my friend. I was so excited when, when I counted six. Like I tell you guys, I don't expect six. So please don't, don't get me wrong when I make this comment because I, I love everybody's art the same. Uh, I don't love anybody anymore, but I was so excited when I counted six because that means I got one of these adorable um, ATCs. Like how cute are these snails? Each snail is different. Uh, she used just different scrapbook paper. Like this was so very creative. I don't know if this um, is a die cut or if she just freehand this, but I love it. I love the uh, all the different snails. She's she added some rain, um, little beads, flat flat bottom beads, flat bottom beads. Is that the word? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> like the bottom of them are flat to for the eyeballs. Like how cute is that? Um, I love the little botanical leaves that she added there. The plants. Um, I love how she added these little dimensional. Uh, they're like dew drops. Um, I don't really know the correct term for it, but that's what they make me think of. It's so pretty. The colors that she chose in these are just adorable. Like, how cute are these snails? Like, if this is a die cut, you better believe I'm going to own it. So, Shannon, let me know, girlfriend, in the comments if this if that's what that is. Because um, I am all about the snails with the snail mail and um, everything. I just love it. I just think these are adorable the papers that you chose to create them with are too cute. Like even if I could freehand this, like a die cut is so much easier. <laughs> and these are so very pretty. I love the different, um, the different little plants that she chose behind them. I love how she made the eyes go different ways on these. Like these are just adorable. So each one is different. Uh, the paper palettes, um, pattern papers that she chose are just they, look, they work together so beautifully. You have such a talent and eye for this. Uh, this one has several of those little uh, dimensional dewdrop type things. I don't really know what they're called, um, but I love them, whatever they're actually called. So I love this. There's some stamping on there. This paper is beautiful. Uh, the ATCs, I just absolutely love them. So these are from Shannon um, at Swerves13 from Washington. And this last set of cards for a sneak peek video part 17 come from the Netherlands. These come from Karen Hazekamp. I have always loved Karen's work. Uh, she is definitely such an inspiration to me as well. And before I show you all the amazing ATCs, I just wanted to show you all this beautiful card that she made me. Um, she has sent me so many beautiful cards and I cherish every single one the notes of them they mean so much to me um you you bring me so much joy my friend um even without sending something our conversations and chats that we have back and forth uh, i truly truly do appreciate them sometimes i tend to talk her ear off and um i just feel like i've known her and met with her in person for a long time and we've never even met we're on different sides of the world so um karen i truly do appreciate it the notes mean the world to me thank you so much for the beautiful card she made these with just different um gel prints which i just love and then i love the botanical on the top um i love how she um did the stitching but how beautiful are these? So this is like one solid gel print that she just did different stitching on. So she uh, 
she she's an amazing artist so she makes such beautiful things the colors the everything that she puts together is beautiful so thank you so much karen for this beautiful card and then you guys her atcs i mean of course you're going to expect beautiful atcs for these beautiful cards that she made look at this a stitch in time so i love it we've got this cute little bunny rabbit um, I don't know where he's from, but I love him. He is adorable. And then we've got her really pretty jelly prints in the background. I'm telling you, she is like the master of the gel plate. She truly is. She does such a beautiful job. Um, and then look on this one. Hopefully that lighting, there we go. Hopefully that lighting's picking up. My back is killing me. So I have a hard time uh, recording on the days where my back is hurting extremely bad. Um, so I apologize if I move out of frame, you guys. I'm trying to trying to just work through the pain as much as I can. But we've got some really pretty embossing on there. Uh, let's see, if show you guys that one. So that one's gold. This one has like a rose gold. I love that. And so those were the green blue palette, and these are the really pretty pinks and oranges. Um, so she just decorated the, the rabbit differently. The gray works so good with the blues and greens. And then here she did like a tan rabbit, which I just, how much different you can make them just by using the same image. So I love the, I love your creativity. I love the way your mind works. Um, I love the little embossing that you added on these. These are just so very pretty. And then of course she did the framing and then she finished it off with my favorite, a stitch which a stitch in time. Uh, so I, I love that so much. Uh, the title of these are called Stitches. Her name is Karen Hazekamp, and you can find her on Instagram at karen.hazekamp. So thank you so much, my friend. I love these. These are all so bright and so beautiful. I love the card. I love the sweet note that you wrote inside. And that is a wrap of Sneak Peek Video Part 17. You guys, believe it or not, I still have a couple more sneak peeks to go. So I hope that you are enjoying these. Please do me a favor. And after you watch the video, please, uh, if you wouldn't mind going back and hitting that like button, I would truly appreciate it. Um, I love hearing from you guys in the comments. So um, I love reading the comments. Let me know which ATCs are your favorite. I promise I read them. Um, it, it definitely... Uh, helps knowing which one's your favorite, which one your eyes are drawn to. Um, I also, if I've asked you guys, you know, if there's a certain stamp or product, I just love hearing from you guys. I love the communication back and forth. I promise I read them. Sometimes I take a little while to respond, um, especially during swap week and when I'm making all the videos, but I want you all to know that I do read them and I do um, appreciate you all taking the time to watch these videos, liking them, subscribing to my channel, and just being a friend and being part of our international A3 ATC swap group. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I will be back very soon with um, another part, part 18. So I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and as always, happy crafting, friends.